moment. But first, we are starting today with a coronavirus update. 31 states are now on New York State's travel advisory list. Take a look at the map we have for you. The ones highlighted in red are now considered high risk states. 10 more states were added today. Minnesota was taken off. Two on your sides, Claudine Ewing has more on these travel advisories. As more states are added to the list, people are looking to travel within New York State, but they're having a hard time trying to find a vacation rental. They are in fact hard to come by, especially if it's on the waterfront. Flexibility is the key. Plus, people are coming upstate like never before. Where a lot of people from downstate said, you know what, we want to get out of here. Like New York City was a COVID hotspot for a while. We're going to um, rent places for a month or several months at a time. We can be socially distant. We can work remotely. Um, so that took up some of the inventory, too, especially in places like the Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes, Adirondacks, and Thousand Islands have lots of vacation rentals that may be hard to come by. We've seen a lot of people saying, you know, I'm went and bought an RV and I'm going to go on a few trips right here in New York. So we're seeing a lot of people asking for information about state parks and campsites as well. The AAA says four star hotels may be another option. We'll have more on that coming up at five. For Most Buffalo, I'm Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.